I had so much fun with the Dizzy Dot design a few weeks ago that I decided that the first Halloween design this year is going to be Dizzy Dots. The simple ghost shape that I'm putting in the middle of the Santorini stone is actually going to be left with the Santorini showing through. So right here I'm outlining the ghost in black. I'm going to outline the edge of the rock and then I'm going to create the black background with kind of the ghost being sort of a peekaboo feature. I want the sparkly Santorini to show through to fill the color of white. The black background is going to really help the dizzy dots pop when they get on there. So let's get started. I'm going to throw down one of my little Lazy Susan turntables with a non-slip surface and I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of the background with black. Santorini stones can be kind of porous and this first coat of paint can sometimes soak into the stone a little bit and it doesn't look like you have full opaque coverage so I often need at least two coats of a color on top of the Santorini. So I'm going to get this initial color on and then you can tell that there's some kind of missing spots and I just give it another second coat of black paint to get it nice and filled in. I'm going to use three neon colors for the dizzy dots. I want to use neon orange, neon green, and neon purple because I think those are kind of Halloween themed colors. But the challenge with my neon paints is that they often do not have very good coverage just on their own. So I custom mix them. I add a little bit of a corresponding just apple barrel regular color paint to them and then I add a few drops of Liquitex gesso and I mix this up to give it a nice solid coverage and it helps the neon pop through and it helps it fully cover whatever I'm painting with. Dots are a little bit easier because it goes on kind of in a lump of paint at a time but I still want to make sure that these have a nice vibrant color so this is one of my tricks is adding a little bit of a similar color paint and a couple drops of Liquitex gesso. Now comes the fun part and I'm just going to start randomly placing dots of all three colors. I'm starting with my biggest dotting tool and then I'm just going to gradually keep sizing down and fill up that black space. The black will show through a little bit but for the most part the dots are going to create a background as I continuously size down. If the paint in the dots is a little globby or a little bit thick you can take a small fine paintbrush and just kind of swirl it around to evenly distribute it. Now that we've got this full of colored dots, I'm gonna come through and fill a black top dot on top of every single one of those colored dots except the super teeny tiny ones. So I'm just gonna fill them all in with black in a smaller dotting tool size. So I want the edges of the dot to show the bottom color. So the neon colors are on the bottom and then a black top dot on top of that. After we get all these black top dots on comes the part where you kind of have to flex your brain muscles and focus a little bit because we're going to use the pattern of orange, green, and purple. So if the bottom neon dot is orange and then there's a black top dot, then the next color is going to be green. If the bottom dot is green followed by a black top dot, then we're going to add purple on top. If the bottom dot is purple, we're going to add an orange dot on top of the black dot. So it's kind of a sandwiched pattern where you're going orange, green, purple, orange, green, purple, but with a black dot in between each of those colors. And that's what creates that dizzying effect while still giving the pattern as the dot graduates down to a smaller size. And we're just gonna repeat this pattern over and over until we've got the dizzy dots pretty filled in. I'm 
adding in some randomly placed dots of holographic glitter paint. It's kind of a translucent paint. When it dries, you won't be able to see those white dots, but you'll just see a bit of sparkle kind of throughout the design. Now I'm gonna take a Posca PC1MR paint pen and I'm gonna fill in two oval shapes for the eyes on the ghost and I'm gonna fill them completely in with the black pen and then I'm gonna draw a little circle for the open mouth on the ghost. I didn't think it was possible to make these dots pop more but once I added resin, the colors got even more vibrant. I hope you're as excited about spooky season as I am and I can't wait to paint some more Halloween rocks with you. Until then, check out the Halloween playlist for more ideas, including the one I have on the screen for you now. Thanks so much for stopping by to watch, and I'll see you next time. Take care.